Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is July 19th, 2018. And that we're going to go over a quick update and do a little bit of analysis on a few coins and a little bit of, we got some big news today. Um, now, I always say I'm, I don't really give the news too much appreciation only because the, the media is bought and paid for. Um, they basically spread FOMO and FUD. For those of you who don't know what FOMO or FUD is, FOMO stands for fear of missing out, which makes the price go up. And FUD means fear, uncertainty, and doubt, which makes the price go down. First, let me go, let's go over the news real quick, okay? There's a couple things. We're just going to cover two topics that I think are important. Okay, first thing. Today, today, Bitcoins... Hold on. Okay, so basically, today's a big day. Um, up, up in Congress on Capitol Hill, the U.S. executive prepares to take up the crypto challenge. Any move towards regulation could send prices soaring, and one expert described the talks as a great step in the right direction. So basically, what's happening today, I mean, they, they held this a few times, nothing happened, but today, they might decide if cryptos are or are going to be assets and uh if they're going to move forward at regulations if they move forward at regulations you could see a big price bump up a, a, a good big rush because um, a lot it's going to attract a lot more big investors who feel more safe investing into the into the crypto space <clears throat> so today Congress is set to evaluate the merits of any uses by central banks of cryptocurrencies and discuss the future of both cryptocurrencies and physical cash. Now imagine, imagine if if mass adoption hits the crypto crypto space and all of you guys and me are already in it. Remember, less than 1% of people in the world have cryptos. Cryptocurrencies are the future of money, right? It's like uh Oh man, it's like it's buying it's like buying oil stocks 150 years ago, okay? Or or railroad stocks, you're going to make a fortune in the long run. So so basically so basically that they're 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 having a big discussion on the future of cryptos and what they what they plan on doing. It's it's basically all about regulations and the security commission, okay? Um, so today, it's it, if we get some bad news at the end of the day, you're going to see prices plummet. A lot of FUD, remember fear, uncertainty, and doubt might spread. It could, it's it's possible. Or if we have good news, we might see a, it might add to the, the bull run we're having right now. Okay? So I'm going to keep a close eye on that uh, and keep you guys updated. And another thing I want to go over is a little bit news about Ripple. Okay, I remember I just made a video about Ripple yesterday, and this information just came out three hours ago. Okay, so let's let me go back to that article about Ripple. Okay, Ripple. Now Ripple is a little bit different than the rest of the cryptos. This is true. Okay, Ripple has a as a. Uh, a big relationship with the with the banks and, and and those kind of groups as I was talking talking to you about yesterday, but basically, well, sorry guys, my computer's taking a, a little while to load. Basically, they're talking about the Security Commission may not deem Ripple as a as a security, and it might it they they're, they're defining it more as a digital fiat. So if they if it isn't if it isn't included with the rest of the cryptos the rest of the cryptos if they get regulated and all this stuff comes through you're going to see it's going to add it's going to bring a lot of money into the market okay but if ripple isn't considered uh, a cryptocurrency you're going to see a big dip in value because if it's just digital fiat it doesn't have that volatility for traders right it'll just be it'll be closer to something similar as a stable coin okay so now again, the news is bought and paid for. They're just here to spread FUD and fear, uh, 
or, or excitement because you know they're all invested and, and they trying to manipulate the prices so I never you know I take it with a grain of salt but uh, you know some some of these things you know this has been talked about for a while now um, so basically <clears throat> you know that they're talking about R ripple may not be a cryptocurrency and can miss out on the regulation that catapults Bitcoin and Ethereum and the rest of the cryptos onto bigger and better things so I mean, again, remember Ripple. It's 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 a great investment, but if, if you're gonna have if it's not gonna be regulated and, and a lot of the other things, and it just has a stable value, it's, it it loses its volatility. So <clears throat> the Security and Exchange Commission, the SEC in the U.S., decides that the tokens are securities that they could be subject to different laws than tokens that are not. Um, so I'm going to stay on top of this for you guys and, uh, and we're going to see, uh, well, where exactly this goes. Okay. But like I said, I, I just took a position on a ripple. I was going to trade it up. I would, I, I put a small amount of ripple for, for new investors that are just getting in. They want to invest a small amount and see where it takes them. So I put a little, a little pilot trading, trading, uh, uh, call I'm gonna make for for beginners. It's gonna be I'm not charging anything for it. I just put 500 bucks on Ripple, and I'm gonna turn that Ripple into you know I'm gonna try to turn it into five thousand dollars worth of Ripple. You know in the next few months, and you guys can see all the trades I make on it, and you could decide to copy or copy me or not. And I remember I'm not a financial advisor. I cannot give financial advice. I'm not licensed to. So with that being said, let's get this crypto. So. The overall status of the, the crypto market, the, the market cap is 291 billion. The 24 hour volume is 18 billion, 500 million around that area. Yesterday we were just peaking under 20, 20 billion, 24 hour volume. Um, so it had a, a very slight decrease, right? So, <clears throat> so let's go, let's go look at some charts. Now, Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin, you know, it's uh, the bulls are back, but there are a few things that are, are making me a little nervous right now. OK, so let's start off with the Bitcoin chart. Right. So, you know, what was it? Uh, uh, last week, I told you guys to buy, buy around this area right here. Right. And then we had this nice this nice price bump up. This little bull one right here. Now, uh, so we broke through the 6800 resistance level and we just came underneath the 7800 resistance level. Remember, I was telling you about the arches. Usually, the price goes like this, right? And it might it may not break that resistance level, but that's okay. It could take two, three times. So either it's going to break the next resistance level, and if it does that. The next stop is about 8,600 to the 9,000 range. Okay, so if it breaks this resistance, you know that's great. The 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 bull it's going to be the, it's going to make a nice profit. Okay, I need and uh, I would sell a, a right around the next resistance level and then buy the dip again. Okay, but see this wedge I created here. If it breaks this wedge. The next stop, I believe we could be going to, it could come back down to the 6,800 area before coming back up. Okay, so it's two scenarios if the bulls are here. Okay, so like again, I'm, I'm keeping a close eye on it. Okay, now another thing on the Bollinger Bands, you can see right here it's starting to arch, right? So if this begins to contract and it starts to look like this, you know, it either means an explosive move, move up or down. So it could either break that 7800 or go back down to 6800 to test it before working its way back up to try to break the resistance again. <clears throat> now, this is a three hour chart. Now, the momentum, the bears just took over the momentum. Um, you can see the momentum just switched to the downwards. Uh, you know, we had this nice bullish relative strength uh, 
we had the, the strength on our side was looking pretty good just came back down a little bit but we're still in that bullish territory we're on the top half of the rsi now the volume was much higher yesterday you can see the volume had a little bit you know it's 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 smaller than the daily average so we need that volume to come back if the volume stays low and it gets lower it's 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 that could be a little concerning okay but um let's clear that board so I'm gonna stay on top of it. I'll give you guys now another analysis on all these later. But let's look at let's look at Ethereum. Now, for those of you those of you who are on my trade calls, I told you that I was selling at five hundred and five dollars, right? And then last night I bought again at four hundred and seventy one dollars. Okay, so my plan was it's it's you know to buy the dip, right? So hold on. Get rid of that. There was a little bit of FUD last night on the Ethereum, fifteen million dollars, which really is, you know, it's it's not even peanuts in this market. But the Ethereum net, network was a little clogged up last night. It cost fifteen million dollars to get it fixed. But one thing that's making me nervous on Ethereum is the Bollinger Bands again. They're they're going sideways. If you got those of you who don't know what a Bollinger Bands is, it's it's the white cloud is the white cloud that's covering the price, right? It's not continue up, it's going sideways. So if that begins contract, it means it could be a upwards or explosive move up upwards or downwards. You know, now again, the news that's going to come out today is going to affect this greatly. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it did come out of this wedge. Um, but if we see if if we see uh, let me let me draw something up. So I, I believe it's going to either go two ways. The volume is good, and uh, you know we have it. We have enough interest, and you know people are buying a dip. They they you know you got the traders jumping back in like I just did. It could break the the uh, resistance level and move on up. And the next one should be around that five hundred and fifty dollar area before coming back down to test to test the uh, old support, right? Then it could bounce up, blah, blah, blah. Or if the volume decreases and we could, it could go back down even farther to test around the 455, 450 um, support level underneath it. Okay, now again, the volume decreased a little bit. We had a little bit sell, but you know, like I said, it was a corrective wave. We, you know, we had a successful impulse wave up, right? So uh, a correct corrective wave should follow. So I think it could test the old support again before coming back up, or it could swing straight up, right? Let me clear this. It's a little okay. <clears throat> now again, you know the uh, we have the the this is a three-hour chart. Remember, so we have little downwards momentum that just took over. Um, so it could either go down or on the MACD, it could continue on its bullish momentum, okay? And we're right kind of in a neutral zone on RSI. Um, but let me go back to EOS, okay? So EOS, if you guys got my trade calls, I told you I, I was selling my EOS at 925 and it hit 935. And then I bought back my EOS at $8.51. So I sold right here and I bought right here. As you can see on the wedge, when it hits the top, it should come back down for a corrective wave. When it hits the bottom, it should get an impulsive wave back up. Now EOS is it's it's still on a uh, pretty good bullish path. Um, so, uh, but again, you know, just like all all the coins, everything follows the master, which is Bitcoin, and it's. Uh, so um so yeah the market's still looking good okay the, the bulls are still here i mean we, we do have some some retracements we might finish completing or we could continue our path up now we could test some supports and resistances so we got we got to really stay on top of it but as of as of right now everything's looking pretty good um i hope you guys are listening and and, and uh and bought the dips and sold the highs like as i've been doing it that way you can squeeze as much profits out as you possibly can. 
so so uh, let's let's see if EOS breaks this nine dollars around this 935 resistance level the next stop we're gonna see I believe will be around the will be around the ten dollars and eighty cents area okay so if the momentum changes and, and it's it's it should uh, if it breaks this resistance it should bounce like this all right if the bulls are back the power strong it should look something like that and then we'll have another corrective wave that will that will fall after that before it works its way back up again um, let's just let's do the hourly right now so as you guys know EOS is my number one coin I love EOS um, So on, on the hourly, right? If this if this doesn't go higher, right? If it if it doesn't continue to go up, I, I believe we could go down to the seven dollars and sixty, seven dollars and six seven set I'm sorry, seven dollars and fifty cents area if if it fails to break this, okay? And if the if the uh, Okay, so that's that's just a separate way it could go. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated on everything. But, um, you know, I told you guys yesterday, we had a successful Elliott impulse wave, right? And then a corrective wave will follow, which looks like this, which is what we're doing, right? Look, boom. Sorry, this is just cluttered right here. Let me do that again. <clears throat> this is the impulse wave, which follows, right? After a, sorry, that was a corrective wave. And then this is the impulse wave, right? And then a corrective wave so it should continue its way back up right but if, if there's enough bear pressure it, you know it, it could pull it down to the next to the um, to the seven dollar fifty cents area if it doesn't if the, if the momentum doesn't stay the way it is um, so uh, or it could go and breach the next resistance and, and make it make it next high Okay, so I'm gonna stay on top of that. Let you guys know what's going on. Now, Ripple, Ripple, I'm gonna be ready to jump ship if Ripple, if there's bad news that Ripple will just stay as a digital fiat, and I'll leave my position in Ripple and, and put it into something else. But um, I think Ripple is a fantastic investment. Uh, I do like Ripple, and I hope I hope it it isn't listed as, listed as just a digital fiat, and it is listed as a security. Um, cause ripple, you know, the big investors love ripple. Like I said, the news could just be spreading FUD. So don't, don't take anything they say seriously, but you have to also look at it objectively and, 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 you know, you got to understand that the, the market psychology is based on human emotion, right? And they know this, this is what they play so that they, they could have big plans for ripple. Like they've been saying all along and they might just want to make the price decrease so they could buy more up. And then they'll release some FOMO and great news and they'll shoot the price up and they'll do it all over again. This is what the media does. But, um, <clears throat> so again, we just, we just did a impulse wave, right? So now we should have a, I'm sorry, a corrective wave. You know, my, I still need to drink my coffee. So we just did a, a corrective wave right here so now that the corrective wave is over we should um, the next impulse wave should be coming up and it should break that next resistance um, if it doesn't it could come back down to test old support now if you guys don't understand the terminology watch watch my other videos I'm giving a lot of great lessons out there so you guys understand and become a better trader like me um, so, uh, and again, the volume's kind of decreasing, as you could see, uh, the last significant volume candle was a bearish one for Ripple. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm, you know, I apologize if this video wasn't as a, uh, energetic as my last ones. Um, I'm just in a rush right now. Otherwise, I'll be covering everything else. You know, I usually go over everything in more depth for you guys. But I'm just giving you a basic idea of right now. Um, 
of what I what my thoughts are, what's happening. Um, another another few good coins I want to talk about. A Eternity is a great coin. Um, it's cheap. A, a, a Eternity, if you're interested, you know, right now is a good buy. I told you a, a, a Eternity, which is A E. You know, you should have bought the dip right here. I also put it out there. That you, it would be a good sell around this area. Um, so this could continue its journey back up, which you know I believe all the cryptos they will. Okay, I believe we just finished the corrective wave. And now the next impulsive wave up is coming. We're going to break the next resistance. Hopefully, if we don't, it's just going to come back down and test, and then continue back up and and break breach the next resistance, and more highs will be coming. The market's still bullish. Okay, um, it's just whether if the corrective wave is over yet or not. That that's that's the question that's here. Um, so, you know, so as you. So basically, I put out trade calls for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Zcash, EOS, NEO, Ontology, Ripple, Quantum, Expanse, uh, Cardano, Attorney, and Tron. Those are ones I'll be giving daily analysis and trade calls out for for all my VIP who, who want the trade calls. And if you're if you're just on a public who just want getting in now and listening, uh, I'm just doing daily daily analysis on Bitcoin, and I'll just do trade calls for Ripple. Okay. Um, now again, I'm new to making these channels. Uh, I love it. I also run a, a business, so I'm not a full-time trader. But I tell you what, most a lot of my income comes from trading. Okay, I've been doing this for years. I love it, and I've been very successful. Um, and I've taught a lot of people and brought a lot of people into this market, and we're all doing fantastic right now. Um, and uh, so anyway, that's it for right now, guys. I will make some more videos today. You guys have a great day and don't forget press like hit subscribe join my VIP while you can um, join my telegram channels and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get this crypto okay so tuned in for more